Welcome to the new Tractor Control S4 and S2. These tutorials will explain the ins and outs of using the all new Tractor Control S4 and Tractor Control S2 with Tractor DJ. In this video, we'll show you how you can access the basic functions of Tractor DJ with Tractor Control S2. It includes browsing, loading, and playing tracks, as well as accessing loop functions, effects, filters, EQs, hot cues, and flux mode. First, we need to load a track. By using the S2's Browse knob, you can scroll through your tracks and playlists. Hold the Shift button at the same time to scroll through the previous pane. To open the previous pane, press the Browse knob while holding down the Shift button. To open a playlist or the recommendations list for a selected track, push down the Browse knob. After choosing your track, press a Load button. Load button A loads the track in the upper deck. Alternatively, you can also use the iPad's touchscreen to browse your music via gestures. After your track is loaded, hit the play button to start playback. Tractor DJ's powerful sync engine will make sure your tracks line up perfectly. When sync is enabled, Tractor matches the track tempo and aligns the beat grids for seamless and easy mixing. To learn more about Tractor DJ's sync engine and beat grids, watch the Tractor DJ preparation tutorial and the Tractor DJ and Control S2 S4 advanced functions tutorial. Your EQs and filters are right in front of you and easy to use. Turn the respective knobs to add or remove high, mid, and low frequencies. The encoder above your EQ section works as a high and low pass filter. Turning the encoder to the left will remove all high frequencies. Moving it to the right will do the opposite, allowing only high frequencies to pass. Push the encoder down to reset and turn off the filter. Open the filter window in Tractor DJ by pressing the button labeled 2 underneath the encoder. You can now see the current state of your filter in Tractor DJ. By adjusting the crosshair's height, you can change the filter resonance. The higher you set the crosshair, the higher the filter's resonance will be. If you prefer to DJ without using sync, you need to turn off the sync engine and key lock. Simply press the sync button to turn sync off. Hold down Shift and press Play to turn off Key Lock. After turning off Sync and Key Lock, Pitch Bend for your deck's jog wheel will be enabled. Turn on the headphone cue to pre-listen to the track you want to mix in. Now use the tempo fader to adjust each track's tempo and the jog wheel to pitch bend your tracks until they match up perfectly. Then mix in the next track. This way you can DJ the traditional way in a very non-traditional environment. You can also open up the effects window in Tractor DJ by pushing the button labeled 1 on your S2. With the latest version of Tractor DJ, you can use up to three effects at once. Turn on each effect by pressing the effect button up here. Use the effects knobs to alter effects parameters. The wet-dry knob allows you to control how much of the effect signal will be added to the mix. To set a loop, push down the loop encoder. Rotating the encoder allows you to adjust the size of your loop. The left encoder can be used to move a loop and your playback position. If there is no loop activated, you can set up a jump size with the loop encoder and then use the move encoder to jump between the locations in your track. Tractor DJ's loop button displays the current selected size. On the S4, the loop display will show you your loop size. Hot cues allow you to store locations in a track, then immediately jump to them during performance. This allows you to do fast, on-the-go edits, perform a track, and rearrange drums and notes. To store a hot cue, press one of the hot cue buttons. Each button lights up when a hot cue is stored. On the S2, you have four hot cue buttons available. On the S4, you have eight. To delete a hot cue, simply hold Shift and press the hot cue you want to delete. Hot cues are a lot of fun with flux mode turned on. You can turn flux mode on and off with the dedicated flux button on your S2. Flux mode allows you to jump to a hot cue, activate a loop or even scratch without losing sync. The track runs in the background as you perform. As soon as you let go of the jog wheel, the hot cue or loop, the track jumps to where it originally would be as if you had not performed anything. You can even perform loop rolls and punch in vocals with flux mode enabled. 